There is new information and a pollution cleanup in North Birmingham after city leaders met with the EPA today. That as CBS 42 news reporter Michael Clark joins us outside the old Carver High School where the EPA is at work. Here on the property behind me, you can see a sign on the fence warning the public to stay away from where crews are working. But we want to show you some video from earlier today when we saw some of the workers trying to get some soil extracted from what was once an athletic field where kids played. Other properties are also affected in an area home to more than 1,000 people. Today, we learned plans for what's ahead. Plant smoke plumed in the background before a news conference where Birmingham Mayor Randall Woodfin announced concerned neighbors like Charlie Powell would have a seat at the table for upcoming discussions about cleaning up around the North Birmingham EPA Superfund site. All you guys out here, didn't y'all smell all that smoke and stuff? We've been living it. I've lived it 43 of my 66 years. After years of fighting for relocation or compensation for residents, Powell is glad neighbors will join the city, school district, housing authority, and health leaders to talk about the future. There are 1,000 plus people who have been affected by some of the contaminated soil here. Woodfin says the city will apply for federal funds to help with redevelopment, but tells us most EPA resources go to remediation. I think what we need is a working group around um, locally, what are we charged to do? What is our vision for the area? Um, what is the input from the community? Um, if there are no resources at the federal level, what can we do locally in partnership with existing organizations? So far, the EPA has helped test almost 2,000 properties and spent around $27 million cleaning up, but there are still more sites to test, and it could take two to three more years. But some neighbors like Powell are optimistic about the progress after Wednesday's meeting. Finally, we got a chance to all of us get together and get basically on the same page. And that's what we've been lack of, lack of communication. Now we got good communication going on. Now the newly formed team will meet early in 2020 and will include representatives from Congresswoman Terry Sewell's office and Senator Doug Jones's office. We'll keep you updated. In North Birmingham, Michael Clark, CBS 42 News, local coverage you can count on.